Ladies and gentlemen, we move on to point number three. This is the kickboxing super fight for the five and two minute rounds. Firstly, can you please welcome, fighting out of the red corner and representing Astoria, New York. Pain and glory, the fight sport spectacular here at the NEC Arena. I'm Malcolm Martin. With me, the ISKA former lightweight world champion, Dave Newbrook. Dave, on paper, this is a great fight. Yeah, really looking forward to this one, Malcolm. Uh, we've got two world champions in the ring there. Um, Fran is the, uh, the ISKA world champ, and uh, Peter, the, uh, the United States Kickboxing Association world champion. Um, so it promises to be a cracker. Frank, when he came in, Huge support from the crowd, and we can hear them now. They're really up for this one. And what's that like when, you, when you're in front of your hometown crowd in an international match like this? Does it really give you a lift? Yeah, definitely. It certainly makes all the difference. Um, you know, as, as you're actually walking into the ring, you can, you can really hear, hear the crowd behind you. It uh, gives you a lift. And, and also throughout the fight, if you're going through a sticky patch and, you know, you're getting cheered on, then it, it makes all the difference. You want to you do your best for them. So here we go again. Five two-minute rounds. England versus America. Kalchevic versus Zukala, and incredible support for Fran here. Not a bad way to start a fight there, Dave. Nice, yeah, he's a very, uh, very flashy style, Fran. Um, he comes from a light contact background, and, or Taekwondo, something like that, and he, he, he brings that into uh, to his full contact work. Yes, again, nice jab there, but I know it's after the kick, he set up a very nice little body shot with the right hand. Yeah, yeah, he's a, a very intelligent fighter. Nice looping left hook as well. He's very sharp early on here. Oh, 
And from these opening exchanges again, really, Kalcevic, he hasn't had time to settle, has he? No, not at all. Um, you know, whether it's a bit of jet lag or, or whatever, he's just been outclassed, I don't know. Yeah, very nice combination ending with the right round as there, but what I like about France straight away, he's working head and body in tandem. Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, like I say, very intelligent, very capable fighter, and he'll, he'll do that. Yes, so Peter Kalcevic, the USA champion, not having much of this opening round, foot sweep and then the jumping, he's asking there, the referee saying, was that a sweep or a kick? How did you see that one, Nick? Um, I, th I think he was trying to uh, just set him up for the, for, for the sort of right kick there, but, you know, just, just playing about a bit, I think, really. Fast hands there from Fran, and again, that axe comes out of nowhere, he's got to watch this, Kalcevic. And really, he's done nothing yet, has he? He hasn't, no. Um, you know, possibly he's just trying to have a look at him and, you know, soak it up a bit. Um, Sam may feel he has to do a bit more work because he's in front of his home crowd. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll see how it develops. And nice shot there again from Fran. Very fast hands. Good opening round. Obviously a big round for Fran, but we, we can't really say what we've learned about the American, can we? No, we can't. Um, I mean, quite impressed with his defence, to be honest. I don't think uh, Frank up with that many clean shots. He, he did get a few into the body there. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the American's just been a bit cagey at the moment. And as you said there, you're right, he's got his hands tucked up nicely, didn't he? And mm -hmm. he took that on the gloves, and he's, he tucks those elbows in. Got in behind the elbow there, but as you said, I agree with you, Dave, nothing really super clean. And when we saw that shot of him early in the corner, he looked very cool still, didn't he? Do you yeah. think, do you think he, he's taking a good look at the man and say, right, do you expect something different from him in the second round? Um, certainly, as, as the fight progresses, I would. Um, you know, as, as, a, as a world champion, he's got the experience there. Um, he may never have seen Fran fight before, so, you know, he's probably doing the right thing in, in sitting back and, you know, absorbing him and having a look at him. Right, so let's see if Peter will step up the pace now, because the first round was all Frank Zucala, the ISK world champion. And straight away, this time, Peter comes out throwing punches and tries to back Fran up, but... He's got fast hands, hasn't he? He has, yeah. Um, you know, he, he, like we said before, he does keep the tight guard, but I'm not convinced that even um, if Peter does start throwing the lever, that it, it's going to, uh, you know, have much effect. Um, Fran's very capable. Right well, that's the thing. Once Peter does start to open up and throw back, then the guard does tend to become a bit loose, and then those shots might get through cleaner. So he's got a tough job on his hands tonight, really. Certainly, certainly has. So back in the pattern of the first round now, after a good opening by Peter Kalajic, he, tr he tried to, to set the pace and try to bully his man in the corner, but really Fran was having none of it. No, he's, uh, he's just answered um, Peter's flurry of punches with a, with a flurry of his own there, um, which I think were a bit more damaging. Yeah, settle down a bit in this second round. Again, another offensive attempt really there from Kalajic, but n no real sting to anything he's done yet, is there? No, I, th I think uh, he's still having a look at him. He's, he's definitely very wary of Fran at the moment. So, um, so we should see if he does open up a bit more. Two, two solid right round kicks there. And as you said, as we said that, he was opening up in that corner, but nothing really effective. No, again, um, you know, Fran's defence is equally as good as his, so um, neither men really caught amazingly cleanly at the moment. No, right to the body there, left round kick to the head there for Fran. That's a good tactic, isn't it? You, you use the house to try and bring the guard down to land the feet. Yeah, certainly. Um, as the more experienced fighters come in, you'll see them doing that a lot more. Um, you watch the novices, they, they will head hunt a bit. Oh, beautiful uppercut there from Fran. Picked his spot and landed it. And that was frustration there for Peter. Big looping reply that, to me, said he was hurt. Yeah, certainly. Uh, no, that was a passing shot. So there we are in the, the American's corner, switching to Fran now. That must be a very happy corner at the moment, then. Yeah, definitely. Um, he, he's doing the right thing. And as we saw there, he's freeing up that body and he's beginning to land. We saw him land the left side now, he, then he landed the right side of the body. Yeah, and as the fight goes on, Malcolm, those, uh, those body shots will certainly take the toll uh, more and more. So we see the Eclipse corner there. What would they be saying to him? Just keep up the same, keep that going? Certainly, yeah, keep up the same. Um, you know, he's not getting too carried away, he's letting his shots go. Uh, and like I say, as the fight goes on, he keeps working that body, and Peter Sands will come down. 
so third of five and Peter Kalchevich really not been allowed into the fight he's had his moments he's tried but really Franz Rukal has really bossed this from, from the opening bell and it looks to continue in that way the only thing I can say in Peter's favour he soaks it up he still looks very calm as you said like an experienced champion would do yeah yeah um, you know we'll, we'll, we'll see if there's anything more than him but at the minute it's uh, it doesn't look that way no, good movement there as well from Stan, and he jabs well going backwards. But that's an art in itself, isn't it? Um, yeah, to jabbing. Certainly, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, you jab as you come forward, but being able to fight on the back foot, yeah, to, it stops your opponent getting you on, on, on your way out. Yeah, setting his man up there. He likes to use the jab more as a setup than the powerful tool, doesn't he? So a, he puts it out almost like a marker. Yeah, yeah, he does. I mean, one thing in, in Peter's defence, I don't think he's, he's been allowed to sort of come into the fight much, uh, you know, by Khan. Yes, Khan taking the centre of the ring, and that's so important. And we talk about the physical side, but that mental side of it, when someone takes the ring and dominates, that's just as important in your game, isn't it? Certainly, yeah, yeah. Nice attempted act there. Khan. Yeah, I'm sorry from Peter, but he got punished straight away by Khan. And the crowd roar, their excitement there, they like to see the man coming forward. He said that he's still with that body, he's worked that body consistently. He has, yeah. Um, it's a good game plan, um, you know, and it, uh, it certainly takes a lot out of Peter. Yes, yeah, a small flurry there from Peter to Simon, and I think he'll know, he'll know the clock's ticking, and he'll know he'll be two rounds down. He's a very experienced man, a champion in his own right. It does show that it's nice to see that we've got a legitimate world champion when you see that, isn't it, Dave? Certainly, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Khan's, Khan's done it the hard way. He's, he's fought good, good, uh, good champions along the way. He beat the uh, European uh, champ Dale, Dale Wood um, for, for his title. Um, so he certainly uh, hasn't been fighting no mugs. Yeah, stopped his man in the fourth in that fight to win the world title. And it's another good round for him. So if we look at that, let's look in the American corner. What can he do to turn this around? Well, he needs to start throwing some stuff. Um, you know, he's, he's had his time soaking it up. He's just got to do some work, really. Cause, I mean, he looks very calm. He doesn't look phased, but he's losing the fight, clearly. Yeah, I think um, it, he's just very, very wary of Fran. Um, you know, who can blame him, really? Yes, we see the, the problem for him is, it seems at the moment Fran's got an answer to everything that he delivers, and he's waiting from that axe. He just slips out the way of, and then comes in with the big right hand. Certainly, yeah. Um, lovely shots. Um, still hasn't landed, you know, completely clean on, on the American team, which says a lot for, for the way he's defending. Yeah, so we're here now in, in round four or five. I, I don't know about you, but I, I've gone first three with Fran. Yeah, most definitely, yeah. Then a little slip there as he starts. Nice round kick there to the midsection from Peter. But he really needs to step up the work now if he's going to get anything out of this fight. Which, to be honest, with the way the pattern's going, I've just got a feeling this is going to be the pattern for the five. Yeah, it's looking that way. Um, I mean, Peter just needs to start working. If, if he can start throwing some more round houses in like that, you know, possibly he can get to Fran, but um, it, it's not looking that way at all. No, the thing that I like about Fran is he works up and down so cleanly, and so he's always creating problems, and he's always looking to, to carve those little openings. Yeah, and he, he's certainly worrying Peter at the moment. And so the clock ticking away for Peter, it's been a hard night's work for him, very little success on the offence. In his favour, he's, he's got a good defence, but he's been willing to sacrifice the body a little bit to protect that face. Yeah, he's, he's looking that way and, uh, you know, the more shots he does take to the body, the looser. Oh, and as I was saying, the looser is guarded B, as you just saw there with Frank Horton and some, uh, some good shots. And they rocked in there as well, the uppercuts, then the, the big roundhouse, got some of the reply, that was it. That was a good series of combinations. Certainly was, yeah. Um, you know, there's, there's painful body shots from the earlier rounds paying off, and uh, he's opened up the middle now. Yes, the, under, the uppercut and underused punch. It's so effective when you're getting close like that. And what I like is he then follows it with the big roundhouse as well. He does, yeah. And, uh, you know, he'll even put a, a kick on the end for good measure there. It's a sign of a good kick, boxer. First success there for Peter. Then he takes an axe back, and yeah. that hurts him, David. That was very nice, very nice. You're right on the side of your chin there. And looking very, very ragged now, the US champion, Peter Kalchevich. As you said, I think now it's beginning to turn him. He's certainly taken his toll. Um, you know, he had a bit of success there, a nice kick, but uh, he got made to pay for it straight away. 
Yeah, so a, a, a grueling round there for the American. I think that was the most hurtful round for him. Certainly, yeah. Uh, you, you could see it in his eyes there. He, he's looking, uh, looking more and more tired. Yes, Fran still standing up, but good front kick right through the channel again. And as you said earlier, he's starting to go through those channels now. He is, yeah. He's, uh, he's finding the gap, certainly. That's the uppercut. Rocked his head there. Yeah, great shot. Confident. He, he's oozing confidence at the moment. It, it's, everything's going his way. He is, yeah. He's got the fight well and, well and truly under control. Um, the American needs something, uh, something pretty drastic here. And that was the kick on the end, you said, and that, that rocked him. Then the second uppercut. Time, second time. Ladies and gents, this is your fifth. To be fair, he did well to survive that one. He did, he's yeah. A tough guy. Yeah, he's certainly tough. Um, you know, he, he wouldn't have won his titles if he if he wasn't. So he's he's coming to fight. But at the moment, we've got him four rounds down. He needs a big knockout here, and he'll know that. And to be fair to the man, he's going for it. But really, big textbook stuff from Fran, and that left round house as well. Yeah, his, his big problem is when he does open up, and he he, he might get off with some good shots, and Fran just push, punishes him right back. Yes, his body's taking a lot of work today. Fran almost nonchalant there in the way he just moved his body away from that kick. And really now he's got to the stage where he's just enjoying this and playing with his man, which when you consider the level he's at, is a real testament to his ability. Yeah, certainly, yeah. Um, he'd like to stop him, I think, but um, you know, the, the Americans um, seem to be very durable. Oh, nice right hand there, he wobbled again, Frank has got him on the ropes. But again, as you said about that durability, he comes firing back. All, all credit to Kalchevich, he's trying his hardest here, but really, he's been out thought, then out thought. Definitely, yeah. And there's body punches coming in again. I'm just stalking, it's nearing the end of the fifth round now, and I, I've got it as a complete shot out, Dave. Uh, yeah, I'd give it every round to Fran, definitely. Yes, I don't think Peter Kaltovic will, will be sad when he hears that bell. He's had a torrid time in there over five rounds. Certainly. Forced to miss like that on numerous occasions. Yeah, it'll be a short, five rounds is a short time for these fellas, you know, they'll be used to fighting 10, 12 rounds for, for you know, world titles. But I think in this case, um, Peter won't regret that. Definitely not. I, I couldn't say must himself. And so we're, we're counting down to the end of the fifth and final round and a convincing victory there for Fran Zukala, showing us why he's the world champion. And Peter Kalkovic, very strong man, but in comparison, rather limited. Yeah, definitely. We, we didn't see a lot from him. Um, I think a lot of that was to, to do with how well Fran performed. Um, but, uh, you know, he's he, he just covering up and, and surviving most of the fight. And again, that kick got through in round four and round five. But luckily for Peter, he was moving away each time. Well, that could have been real trouble. Yeah, certainly, yeah. And there's the difference. Fran still fresh, his gloves still high to take the kick on the gloves in return. Overall, what do you feel of that performance? Very good performance. Um, you can't fault uh, for Fran for that. Um, I think if, if it had been any, any longer, he certainly would have stopped him at some stage. Um, great performance. So we feel this is a Fran, every right to smile there. Beautiful performance in front of his home fans. In his favour, all we can say for Peter Kaltovic, you saw there smiling, very tough man. Very tough indeed, yeah. Um, he didn't give in. You know, he took some good shots there. Um, good defence and, you know, just, just wasn't to be his night. 